Crocodile Dundee was an epic movie. Made on a low budget, this Australian movie was a massive commercial success. From becoming the highest grossing movie of all time in Australia to becoming the highest grossing non-US film at the US box office ever, the movie broke many records. Paul Hogan followed the success of Crocodile Dundee with two sequels, Crocodile Dundee 2 and Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Most of the cast returned for the sequels. Here's what the cast of Crocodile Dundee looks like in 2020. Before we get on with the video, we want you to know that we make new videos every day. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. John Melian John Melian appeared as Crocodile Dundee's business partner Walter Wally Riley. Although John was already an established actor before the movie came out, Wally remains his most memorable role to this day. He also did some popular voiceover work like in the Victoria Bitter commercial. The actor passed away on August 11, 1989 at age 55 in his Neutral Bay home due to psoriasis. Mark Blum Mark Blum, who did a remarkable job as the villain in Crocodile Dundee, went on to land roles on famous TV shows like Frasier, The Sopranos, and The West Wing, among others. As of now, Mark is working for a non-profit organization called HP Studio dedicated to helping struggling performing artists. Reginald Well Johnson Reginald had done only a handful of acting roles before landing the role of Gus on Crocodile Dundee. The movie entirely changed his career as he went on to land great roles afterwards such as Sergeant Al Powell in the Die Hard franchise and Detective Dave Sutton in Turner and & Hooch. At age 67, Reginald is still very active in the industry and has just completed the filming of an upcoming Australian comedy film, the very excellent Mr. Dundee. David Gulpilil It was not the first time that David took upon himself the role of an aborigin but what he did in Crocodile Dundee was the most distinguished one. His role in the film as Neville Bell even won him the Member of the Order of Australia Award. He also did a remarkable job in Charlie's Country which won him the Best Actor Award at the Cannes Film Festival. However, his life afterward has been kind of rocky with him facing legal troubles quite a few times. Steve Rackman Steve had made a name for himself as one of Australia's prominent wrestlers before landing the role of Dong in Crocodile Dundee. He earned quite a fame in the acting world as well. However, after making his final appearance in Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles, Steve bid acting and glam life adieu to pursue his other passion. Subsequently, he opened two gyms in Sydney, Australia. He retired from that job in 2010. Jerry Skilton Jerry appeared in all three Crocodile Dundee films in the role of Nugget O'Cass. There were talks that Jerry would appear in a spin-off show based solely on his character. Reportedly, he financed the production of Nugget Gets a Life pilot, but the pilot flunked. Jerry has not been much heard of ever since. Jerry Gill A veteran in his field, Jerry Gill played the role of Duffy. The actor passed away on February 25, 2015 at age 75. He passed away in his Richmond, Melbourne home after a long battle with lung cancer. That's all for now. We will be back with updates on more Crocodile Dundee stars in our next video. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.